I'm Chris. This is AFA Top Banana Trivia. Tonight we have Brian from Brian's, is it Disney West Coast or West Coast Disney? West Coast Disney Adventure. All right. We got James Ryan here playing with us. And we got Kelly, both from the Mickey Bunch, that she's running a little bit late. What a shock. So I figure <laughs> I'm expecting her to come in in a dress that looks like a globe. That's what I'm looking <laughs> There's a couple of ways I can take that remark, but I'm not going to go for it. So. <laughs> I think she'd probably be putting the globe on her head there, you know, instead yeah. of years. So, so. Uh, let's go. We got Mandy Adams. Hi, Mandy. Uh, we got Catherine Willoughby. La Presidente. Yeah. Uh, and let me see. We got Kevin from Kevin's Theme Park Adventure. Oh, yeah. And, it looks, and oh, there's Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, Sandy Birdwell. Just came, where the birds are well, 24, 27. Nice so. to see you, Sandy. Always nice to see all of you, actually. Oh, yeah. So, good, like I said, luck to all. tonight we are playing World Geography Trivia. <laughs> I almost forgot. I don't know why. But, uh, and I'm doing double duty tonight, so uh, I will be the scorekeeper. Heaven picked up a shift, so she will not be here tonight because she's, she's got to be at work sleeping. at 6 30 in the morning but uh but yeah so we're going to be playing some trivia i i guess are we ready yeah everybody uh, knows the rules right they wait for you to ask for oh yeah the... I, let me put that up now whose show is this anyway chris well, I mean, th well thank you yeah. thank you <laughs> well the thing is you know see look look you remind me I didn't kick you out, so that's right. It's kind of a different show, <laughs> unlike unlike other people who <laughs> toss me to the wind. So, so basically, yeah. So, he, what it's going to be is what it says down at the below. Uh, I'll read it off. You guys put your answers in there in the chat, and uh, when I tell you to go ahead and submit your answer, everybody submits their answer. They get them all come up. Once all all the answers come up, then that's when I'll go to the live contestants and ask for their answer. And we'll have a fun night. So, All right. and hopefully it won't take me so long to score everybody. So I think I got a pretty good system set down here. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead <laughs> with question number one. And these are multiple choice, right, Chris? And here's the thing. I'm going to tell you right now, I believe this may be the hardest trivia I have done so far. All oh, yeah. right. I'm going and down. Let's put it this way. The multiple choice questions, there's only three. So it's not, it's not you know, you've got a better chance of getting the right answer. There's only three, A, B, and C tonight. Okay. So here we go with the first question. All right, question number one. What is the largest desert? Is it A, Gobi, B, Antarctic, C, Kalahari? Ooh. Well, we're getting right into it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a controversial one. Those always are because deserts expand, and I right, think, right, and they contract too. I think yes, um, and I think there's places that most people don't think are deserts. Mm -hmm. And and there's one on the list that I would have expected. There's Sahara. Oh but, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, but Sahara is actually small compared to the other ones. All right, chat, you can go ahead and put your answers in. <laughs> See if anybody gets this one right. I mean, you got one out of three chance, Brian. Somebody is going to get it right. <laughs> yeah, 33% chance. All right, we've got, we've got some answers starting to come in now. Can I see the question again, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Please. Okay. I just want to make sure I get the right letter. I had it right. Okay. Okay. Got a couple of answers coming in. So this uh, is one that I actually saw last week. I'm like, oh, I know this one. All right. Oh, hey. Hey, John. Hey. Thanks for coming yeah, I in. I'm back near here. We got midlife fives. There's Kevin's com got coming in. All right. I don't know if we have any more. So 
I guess let's go ahead and uh, start with Brian. Brian, what did what was your answer? Um, now, the definition of a desert is a dry area, right? A very arid and dry area, right? And the largest one of those is Antarctica. Okay, James. I actually agree. Yeah, the Antarctic desert is the largest. You guys are both correct. Antarctica is the largest desert in the world. So this will be easy to it's score. Because, um, <laughs> you got me hooked on the, the trip. Desert, doesn't awesome, have to be Josh. So uh, let's see. So we got James. And Brian. <laughs> That'll be easy. All right, <laughs> we ready for question number two. Oh, that was a doozy to get out of the gate with, though. I yeah. Yeah. All right, question number two. I can change my answer to B, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number two. Which is the world's smallest ocean? Is it B, the Arctic? I mean, A, the Arctic, B, the Pacific, or C, the Indian? Oh, man, these are good questions. Um, it is a good question. And um, yeah, what, what's, I think, interesting about them is you get sort of an advantage. Yeah, you, you get an advantage if you've been in the Navy, because this is like a uh -huh. <laughs> an everyday question. I, got, I have a question coming up. I'm not even sure if it's world geography. I'm going to tell you that much. All right, chat, you can put your answer in. All right, we got them coming in. All right, I think I think we got all of them coming in. There we go. Oh, Jonathan Mays. Hey, thanks, Jonathan. All right, so are we ready? We're ready. Mm -hmm. Brian, what's your answer? Um, I went with the Arctic Ocean. Okay, all right. James? A, the Arctic. The Arctic is correct. So, all right, let me write everybody down. Everybody rallied on that one. Mm-hmm. I love these questions. Oh, my God. Okay, we got Kevin. There's some um, there's some dispute about the Arctic's smallness, though. Is there really? Yeah, you know, there, it's very difficult to determine land mass underneath parts of it that are above the Arctic Circle. So, right, right. Well, I meant, you know, there's all different kinds of stuff about it. Uh, Josh got it. see Sandy Jonathan I better put Jonathan Mays just in case yeah in case Jonathan John pops yeah in. <laughs> good for you Catherine that a girl I'll everybody put, did real well yeah. oh yeah I better put James and Brian in here that might yeah <laughs> you know, we're two for two two for two I know all right. So I, I did not tell what tonight is. So obviously the first round, one point a piece for each one uh, for multiple choice. Second round is visuals. Let me explain what it is. Uh, it's going to be all seven man-made wonders of the world plus two natural. All you got to do is tell me what country they're in. All right. And then wow. course, the last is 10 questions. So there's Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Hey. I'm late. Start over. Start over. Okay. Well, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're doing something different. We're starting with question number three. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So many cool people in chat. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Kevin, Jonathan, Catherine, all the cool kids, Sandy. So you came in. I don't know if you heard what I said. Round two is the visual. So oh. it's going to be. It's seven wonders of the world, man-made wonders. And I think I have, maybe I might have more than two natural. There might be three. So what the answer will be on that is I'll just, I just need the, what country it's in. And understand, 
I think I have two of them where it sits in two countries. So if you get one country right, you get the, the points for it. Awesome. So. I, nice. I feel like I could be here or not be here and get the same amount of points. I don't Let's know. <laughs> Kelly, you're you're smarter than you think. I you am are. smart. You know, I am smart, you know but geography, no, thank you. Okay, let's we're, do this. Are we ready? Are we ready for question number three? Yes, we sir. are. Hey, cargo, thanks for coming in. Ethel. Hey, Ethel. All right, here we go. Question number three: The smallest bridge is situated in A. Ghana, B. Bermuda, or C. China. The smallest bridge in the whole world. I, it's just the smallest bridge is situated in. Mm. Wow. This I mean, you all, you've, you've yeah. got three, three to pick from. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Sorry I was late, as usual. Well, I, I, I was everyone's a... guessing. Can I just show this? I have a strawberry shortcake shirt which has nothing to do with geography but it's a strawberry shortcake shirt so i had to show it all right chat you can put your answer in i mean doesn't uh the land of sharp strawberry short well, look at look who joined us the wonderful so cargo is here yes i yeah. know does it My smell Ethel. like strawberries does the shirt smell like strawberries i wish it did i'm gonna lie and say it does <laughs> It's a scratch and sniff. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. it says, Life is delicious. And then it has a little strawberry shortcake. Who has red hair, by the way? All right. I think okay. we have most of our answers in. Brian, what's your answer? Um, oof. Can I see the three choices well, again? Yeah. What? I need ears. We need to talk. Love you. Cargo so much. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to have to say, uh, blow me to Bermuda. All right. James? Uh, Bermuda. Bermuda. Kelly? The smallest bridge in the world. Like, is that a title of something? Because I'm thinking Polly Pockets probably have the smallest bridge. But there's, in the three, world. there's three choices there. <laughs> there three. I'm going to say Bermuda because I, I think Bermuda Triangle doesn't have a bridge. So that's. What I'm saying. So, so what are you saying? Bermuda. Bermuda. All right. And the correct answer is Bermuda. So. Yay. So just give All me a right. second. Let me write everybody down. Is it literally called the smallest bridge? I have, I don't even know what they're talking about, Kelly. I just wrote <laughs> the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not that was lucky, so cargo. I uh, I had a guess at that. And and for those who didn't catch the reference of where that line I used came from, the sword in the stone. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. What yeah. did he? What did you say? I said, "Blow me to Bermuda." Oh. I wish my handwriting was better. I feel like I need to watch oh, that. Nice now. James and I. He was so inspired by your Iron Man show that now oh, really? we are watching the entire Marvel Cinematic <laughs> Universe in chronological order, not of the when they were released in theaters, but the timeline. Oh, I got you. The time. Yeah. I got which so time, Captain America first. We did. Yeah. Yes. So we watched Captain America. Then we watched Captain, Marvel, be, Captain Marvel. And then yeah. we watched Iron Man. Iron. And Iron Man. like, it really does like, tie it together in a way that nice. felt disjointed before oh, yeah. and captain marvel i think seeing it this way like after captain america before iron man made me the story's really great you see lots of like uh hidden things anyway i'm just wasting time with people answering that that's you. fine i'm uh, you waste all the time you want i'm taking down to the, for the score yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um but i, I suggest it, anyone i mean it, nobody says you have to do it in a certain amount of time. I mean, it's a lot of movies, but oh yeah, we're only three in, and I'm like, wow, this makes so much more sense. And right. I well, love Marvel movies. Like, like I said, when uh, Endgame came out, Heaven actually went out and watched all the movies before she went to see Endgame. She had to go look for where they were, what, because at that time there was no Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. right. You just go to Disney Plus and watch 
Oh, so, I thought you meant she physically left her house. Here, um, there's what well, a... she did. She, I think she oh. went and seen Captain Marvel in the theaters, and then turned around and went and seen Endgame in the theaters after oh, she watched. Oh, yeah. gotcha. So, okay. Yeah, but she um, she watched them in order that they came out, not like what you guys were doing. I'm telling you, if because I was always a little like, who is that? What is going on? I mean, because that's my. But it's really good. Really right. good. Right. Um, one of the locally owned theaters here um they had this like sleepover thing where they gave you food they you know did all this stuff and they played every single one of the movies in chronological order um and going up to end game right. i thought that was so cool i think the only thing that i don't want to spend time with that i think sometimes the only thing for that. chronological order that's a little hard is when you're watching Either the mid or the end credits. Sometimes it's out of order when you watch yes. them chronologically, though. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Are we ready for question number four? Yes, we are. All right. Question number four. Which is the deepest ocean? A, Pacific, B, Atlantic, or C, Indian? Ooh. I feel like I don't know anything. Kelly, you're <laughs> smarter than you think you are. I'm not saying I'm stupid. I'm saying this is not in my lane. <laughs> Understandable. Different kinds of intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly is a fashionista. Okay, Kelly is the. Well, you tell my daughter's that. I see Kelly as being a people person. Oh, totally. Yes. She is indeed a people person. I love people. People are awesome. All right, Chad, yeah. you put your answers Our in. people, all these people in chat, they make my heart happy. Hey, we're matching, James. You're wearing red. <laughs> I'm wearing strawberries. <laughs> and my shirt says, bite me on it. Well, there you go. Well, with, the shark. with the theme. You, I see the shark fin. So I, <laughs> that's I, yeah, mine just says Pixar. So. <laughs> Didn't get, get the note that we're supposed to wear fruit. <laughs> Speaking of, one of the things when I'm watching you guys, when you talk about going to the park and everything like that, there is, and I keep yelling when Kelly says she's not drinking enough water. And I, there's this product out there called Liquid IV. I use it every day to carry on my route. And you know, I'm going to try that for. Heaven, heaven said what? they're using it at the park now for whenever cast members feel dehydrated and they said after the third drink they start feeling all right oh that's good i literally get yeah. heat, heat exhaustion yeah on the daily my brother and i my, drink like lots of water my brother has been stealing it from me on the <laughs> day on the days that we go to or the day he uses it the next day after we go to trivia because he drinks too much and he gets a hangover and he says it takes it right away well, there you go. Oh, well, a hangover fix. Gotta love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that'll oh, solve yeah, I mean, more than water needs. Well, I meant, you know, a hangover is nothing but just dehydration. So, yep. But all right. So it looks like Let's we got all our answers in. in the all right, Brian. Um, that is the Pacific Ocean. Because you got to remember the deepest part of the ocean, of uh, the, the deepest part of the ocean is Mariana's Trench. And that's in the Pacific. Right. All right. James, same answer. Yeah. The Pacific Kelly? Mariana Trench. I didn't get a piece of paper but i'm gonna say pacific ocean okay all right and what's funny is a lot of people don't know this is the pacific ocean actually a natural ocean compared to the atlantic ocean the atlantic ocean is just was created after the continent split after pangea right. separated right all right so we got a lot of a lot of answers on that so we got james that's why the atlantic has such great fishing in the northern parts because it's relatively shallow right it only goes mm -hmm. to 60 fathoms. But the trench itself, the Mariana, goes quite deep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it, I, I don't know what it's called, but there's something down there that puts off. Uh, and they went down, and what they found out, it's shooting out, like, different kinds of metal, even, like, gold. And Okay, they scuba gear immediately. <laughs> I don't think you can go down that far. What is it? It's like, is it like three miles down? Yeah. It's farther really down than what the Everest is high. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. James, you're scuba diving. I'll stay in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, sure I, I actually went on a beach dive in uh, 
Mexico, down off the coast of Ensenada, over by La Bufadora. Oh my God, it's absolutely beautiful down there. I definitely, definitely recommend scuba diving at least once in your life, you know? I, I, I agree, Brian. Even I snorkeling. Think, I think mm -hmm. heaven. I if think you, heaven if got, you've never been under the sea, and you can sing under the sea. It's heaven, just me. She went to get scuba uh, certified. certified, but then when she got through it, they said something about that they didn't know if she could get certified, so she didn't finish it because of having a collapsed lung. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, she had yeah. a collapsed lung when she was yeah, born. You can. Um, yeah, that's that's a no. No, thank you. So she was afraid to go back. So Now, there's, there's two ways to get certified. There's uh, the Pacific... Um, Oh gosh, it's it's called PADI, a P A D I, and uh, now he's uh, the National Underwater um, Aquatic Structures. Um, the difference between the two, Nawi and PADI, is Nawi. When you get certified through Nawi, they make you uh, do sixty dives uh, between open water one and open water two. With PADI, you can jump from open water one and open water two right away. Oh, wow. I think having that experience under your belt yeah. before you jump forward to the next less the next certification is a lot better. Gosh, the most <laughs> yeah. snorkeling I've done is in my bathtub. <laughs> I know. I was gonna ask Chad, have we done any snorkeling? Have we done any scuba diving? I have I not, will not. I don't really like nature. I like the idea of nature. So the closest I will get to under the water is probably eating at Coral Reef and looking at the aquarium. <laughs> but yeah, that's a big no thank you. Not my favorite. So. Because I feel like I would feel suffocated in all that scuba stuff. Like, right. So. All right. Are we ready? That's four. All right. Are we ready for question number five? Yes. Yeah. All right. Question number five. Which is the smallest desert in the world? Is it A, the Kalahari? B, Car Cross, C, Sahara. Ooh. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, by, think... by the way. Oh, go on, Kelly. Huh? This is fun. I love it. Uh, is. It's a blast. Night. It is so fun. All right, chat, you can put your answers in. To get it, you, you had to actually go backwards and think about them. <laughs> um, <laughs> I could go back, back a long way and not think about those. No, I just think about, well, where they are. Well, never mind. Like, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think since I fix fix my mic, I don't think you can hear that anymore. I think it's uh, what? It's, I think your choices are interesting, Chris. You're doing natural geography as opposed to Political right. national or political geography so the train went behind went through so i think i don't think you can hear that anymore now so all right i think we got everybody in all right uh brian what do you say i'm gonna go with b b all right uh james yeah b the car cross kelly b the car cross of course right. everyone knows that of course <laughs> the answer is b car cross yes right. And I don't, I don't get know, there, Josh, I don't know if it's because you can drive a car across it. I'm not for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I like Josh's theory. And, you know, I, honest to goodness, I'm just stealing answers. I have no idea. But I've heard of the Sahara Desert. I, 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 it's actually located in Epcot as you go around during the summer. So <laughs> oh, geez. So. I've actually tonight, I do have a couple of tiebreaker questions just in case. Okay. Ooh. I, I'm, I'm, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> well, we had tiebreaker question. What was it? Last, was it yeah, last, 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 week? last week? Yeah. All right. Let's see. 
We got cargo. Yeah, Catherine, you, you're on a roll, darling. You go, girl. Sandy. Woo, La Presidente. On a street. Josh. Catherine. <laughs> Kevin. And I, th I believe that's the last one. So, all right. Are we ready for question number six? We are. All right. We're living for it, baby. Yeah. Question number six. Which river runs by most countries? Is it A, Molongolo, B, Tyrane, or C, Danube? These are great That's questions. Great. What did you do? Like go to the Funkin' Wagnalls room and like yeah. <laughs> come up with all these? <laughs> I don't know. C sounds like something you yell at somebody on a video game. The noob. No, it's Danube. I know how to say <laughs> I'm just going to smile and nod. Just smile and nod. Ellie, you're a smart young lady. You can do okay, it. Stop telling me that. I know I'm smart. I'm just not smart at this. I meant this multiple choice question, Kelly. There's only three. It's even easier. <laughs> you, have a you have a 33 and a third chance of getting it right. But then again, you have a 66 in, in, in uh, two-thirds chance of getting it wrong. It's a good thing I'm not invested. Here, here honey, I'll, I'll hum you a clue. All right, chat, you can put your answers in. <laughs> that was probably the worst clue ever. <laughs> James, musician, you are not. No, <laughs> not I... I understood what it was. I just don't know. So I'm just going to say whatever James says. <laughs> Waiting for, all right. So. Wait, what is Josh saying? Okay, there we go. Everybody's, and so cargo. All right, Catherine. All right, Kevin. I think we got Sandy. I think we, they're in agreement. <laughs> all right all right brian um that would be the danube the blue right. danube to, for some right all right and as i was humming the blue danube waltz it's the danube kelly we've made it easy for you danube danube yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the danube yes danube there's a waltz <laughs> named after it apparently yes uh -huh. <laughs> Very pretty waltz, actually. James, you are so smart. And so no, I just things. no. I, I've lived longer than most people in the chat, so I just <laughs> yeah, combined. I'm actually combined, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, combined. <laughs> oh my! I got uh, the seniors today. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, We'll see you in Epcot, Brian, and we'll see who can make it around the World Showcase fast. <laughs> I can roll Walt. <laughs> Walt is the one who can make it around faster. That man sprints at all times. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> James, I only Less than to desirable. Like that. Less than <laughs> desirable when I'm trying to look at pins. You, you don't sprint when you're drinking around the world. Remember when we got? Remember when Walt gave us the, the, the evil eye when we were delaying because we went in the pin store? Yes, that's what I was referencing. He, he was literally like, gave us the he was speeding and to the haunted and mansion, <laughs> and he turned around and looked at us like. And it wasn't Ugh. you. He was evil eyeing. It was. <laughs> well, I was. He knew it wasn't your fault. Well, I was staying with you. And that was. A good <laughs> are, all right. Are we ready for question number seven? I suppose yeah. it's unavoidable, yeah. Chris. Go ahead. <laughs> Question number seven, which country is named after Jesus? Is it A, El Salvador, B, Haiti, or C, Israel? Nice. Oh, Catherine, I don't believe you're that old. <laughs> she is not. If she... I just want to know whatever you're using on your face, Catherine, because you look very useful and beautiful. So send your girl that information. 
<laughs> Catherine, you, you do know that I am teasing, right? <laughs> no, she's telling Chris to take you out. <laughs> All right, Pat, you can Just go ahead like and Just like Chris gets super chat. I'll, I'll tell you what, let me return the favor here. Brian, don't you dare get on my cat. Um, <laughs> Wait, make James big, Chris. He gets very passionate about Catherine. Um, this is a warning to all. Never <laughs> mess with my Catherine. She is my president of my fan club and a dear sweet lady. Mess with her, you got me, the New York lawyer, on your tail forever. <laughs> <laughs> James, he's not kidding. James, he's not kidding. I would never be mean to Catherine. She's an absolute sweetheart. She's she a is. doll. We love her. So, uh, and she sent me a big uh, box. I still want to open it. I've been shaking it, trying to figure it out. So, what oh, most people don't know brain. is, uh, uh, I actually gave this quiz to Margie earlier. So, <laughs> I bet Margie did very well. How did she do? What did she tell you about this quiz? Well, did I give her hints. Up? I give her hints sometimes. Great hints like James does, humming some random waltz. Well, random. that's probably one of the most famous waltzes of all time. All right, I think they're all Is in. Is that the one where they jump? Like when they're doing the waltz no, and then the guy a, picks no. them up? Huh? No. No, no that's called that's the waltz. No, you know the waltz that, like, in like period movies where they're all dancing and then they go, Boop, and the guy picks up the girl and like. Volta. Margie is a smart one. Uh, she might not agree with you on that. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not saying my wife isn't smart. My me. wife is smart, but when we were dating, have you ever seen the rumble strips? Sometimes that comes before stop signs. Yeah. She asked me what those were for, and I told her that it was for. To tell blind drivers a stop sign was coming. <laughs> I've, I've got a good friend who had who had this girl, his uh, old girlfriend. who was probably dumb as a box of rocks. Um, he had her convinced that the box dots on the lanes and the high on the freeway were braille dots, so that blind people can drive. <laughs> so, All right. So, has, has it come to this? We're now going to like criticize and pillory those who are vision impaired. Oh, you hey. guys are going to the PC police. <laughs> We're going. I'm telling you, you're going. Well, <laughs> all right. So this just, got really, this just got really weird really fast. It did. <laughs> all right, Brian. And okay, I was not um, involved. I'm, I'm going to explain how I came to this answer. Yeah. Um, when Christopher Columbus landed um, in the New World, he didn't land in America. He actually landed on an island in the Caribbean that he named San Salvador, the land of our savior. So I came to the conclusion that it was El Salvador. Okay. Or the savior. Well, I, I came to the same conclusion. It is El Salvador. But unless geography and continents have shifted, El Salvador is part of North America. So um, mm -hmm. I mean, America is just not the only country in North America. We have Canada and Mexico right. and several yeah. others. No, he did come to America. Well, you yes, call it Canada or USC. So, but with Amerigo Vespucci. Yeah, <laughs> very good, Kelly. All right, Kelly. El Salvador, of course, the savior. Yes, that is correct. A El Salvador. That is correct. I, you know, did you see how she delivered that though, with the hand on the hip and the little yeah. thrust? That was pretty good. Like I know I like all that. the. You damn skippy. Yeah, and Catherine, don't worry. Margie said C as well. By, by the way, Kelly, this uh, Friday, um, instead of having a guest on, I'm just going to go on over to Downtown Disney and stream at Downtown Disney. Nice. Fun. Good time. So, what are you going to use the stream with, Brian? My phone. No, no, no. I'm talking about Are you, you can't stream through YouTube because... I think, isn't it set up? You have to have so many subscribers before you can actually stream. 100 right? subscribers and I have 100. Now. Wow. Yeah. It used to be like a so thousand, more, right? Wow. Good thousand. Thousand. Yeah, That's yeah I, I, was, I was actually able to stream with my phone before. So there's no uh, end of jean jackets or ears over there. Um, but I, so I, I always. I love me a jean jacket. You probably I was, couldn't. I always but felt like StreamYard was easier to use. I don't know why. It is. Yeah. It's easy to use um, from home. No, I'm talking about on mobile too. 
Really? Yeah. You know, Brian, reach out to Josh Midlife Vibes. His live streams, him and Becky from the parks were always gold. So he may have some tips for you on that. I'm offering your assistant midlife vibes. <laughs> no, they really they're I miss them going to Disneyland. I just love love those streams. But I love Josh and Becky so much. I, I do I too. I was all I was all excited and blushed this week because Becky subscribed to me on Instagram. I was all like, wow, they're real celebrities. Holy smokes, I gotta be be careful. No, seriously, <laughs> when I met them at Disney California Adventure, like I watched like three channels, Mr. Cheesy Pop. Midlife Vibes, which was Slice of Disney at the time, and um, a Magical Journey. And those were the three. So when uh, Death Star Diva hooked me up with meeting them, I was literally like, ah, fangirling, <laughs> crying, <laughs> hugging. <laughs> ah, I love Josh and Becky. And uh, like bonded immediately. They are the best people. The best. They are amazing people. All the right. real deal. Are we ready for question number eight? We are. All right. Yeah. I'm going to lie. Yes, I'm ready. All right. Question number eight. What is the capital of Kosovo? Is it A, Victoria, B, Pristina, or C, Loam? Oh, my gosh. Wow. That is one that um, Chris should know because he was over in uh, US, the former Yugoslavia. Right. I was almost sent to this country because things were going south. I am. Um, I actually, well, I'll save that story for another day. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm not looking this up. Taylor just texted me and offered to bring me some uh, cilantro rice she made. All right, What's chat, you rice? can put your answers in. Oh, I, I love that cilantro rice from Chipotle. Or is yeah, that she does it at home. I've never it's ate like... there. Uh, really? Yeah, I've never ate at Chipotle. You've never eaten at Chipotle? No. You don't know what you're missing. I don't know. I mean, it's all right. And I don't ever get to eat at... Uh, um, Chick-fil-A because the only day I get off is Friday is Sundays. So so I don't get the I don't get to have that <laughs> that holy chicken sent by God. So <laughs> I I it always, is some uh, good chicken. It is some good chicken. I give it I, I love I love the old joke about how um um Chick-fil-A has that Mother's Day deal with where if you come in on Mother's Day you get a if all, any mom that comes in on Mother's Day gets a free sandwich. Oh wow. You know what I love is when they have the dress like a cow day. Man, I got an army of children. I am, you know, <laughs> taking white t-shirts, putting black felt on it, throwing it on. We're all going in like the whole family ate for free. I'm free and for me. Like cow day. Wow. Dress like a I ain't hey, I got no shame in my game. If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> all right, Brian, what do you say? Oof. Um I'm gonna have to go with C. Go with C, James. B, Pristina. All right, and Kelly. B, Pristina, of course. Right. That's what B, James um, said. B is correct. It's um, and and Chris, I know that you almost went there. What a yeah. sad, yeah. melancholy country that was after the destruction and separation of the Yugoslavian nation. Oh yeah. Mm. There was a no-fly zone over it. Um, it was part and parcel to a terrible conflict that involved ethnic cleansing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and um, I, I there was things going on because I was in Bosnia that I didn't feel like should be going on when you had uh armies or you know different militaries coming in from uh other parts of what used to be former Yugoslavia to help. Yeah. And it's like, no, because these guys seem to have an invested interest mm -hmm. and they shouldn't have. And, was, uh, um, but the bad part was when we got there, we actually ended up in the Russian area. We took over the Russian yeah. area. The Russians were there and then they left. And then we ended up taking it over. And to the, dis to the disgrace of the then Soviet union, because at that point. Yeah. But the thing was, was of course, 
you know, the Russia was letting the Serbs get away with things because they were more I mean, close. The atrocities, atrocities committed there yeah. in the name of ethnic cleansing. Oh, yeah. Right. But, the, but I, mean, the thing, I know this is a bright show, but that was a stain on the truth. Well, but, but the truth was, James, nobody was innocent. Oh, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. every, every party in that was doing something that was not right. right? Yeah. And it, it's a shame because just, you know, a decade before Sarajevo yeah. had hosted the uh, Winter Olympic Games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1984. Yeah. And I never made it to Sarajevo. It's, uh, I, one of the things I remembered. Um, but beautiful that country. Year. Yeah, oh, was, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Six and beautiful Flags Magic Mountain opened that uh, Sarajevo bobsleds in uh, commemoration of the Winter Olympics. And I actually got to go on that. Oh, wow. Nope, that, that was actually fun. All right. Are we ready for question number nine? We are. All right. Yep. Question number nine. What is the capital of Iceland? Is it A, Dhaka, oh. B, Lima, or C, Reykjavik? Reykjavik. It's pronounced awesome. Reykjavik. Okay. Honestly, don't give me any points so far. I I have known none of these. The um, I am I am a liar. The, the, the capital city that's the correct answer was the site of an amazing international check chess competition back in the mid seventies between Bobby Fischer and Boris Spassky. It was billed as the Greatest chess, the two greatest grandmasters of all time met there. Um, and the American, Bobby Fischer, won. Mm -hmm. so if you're a chess player, and I am, it was a, a wonderful moment. All right, chat, you can yeah, put your answers in. I was five years old. Um, now, here, here's a bit of uh, true history here. The nation of Greenland got its name through marketing because they learned that when you name a country what it's really about, like Iceland, because it was very cold, you're not going to have too many people want to move to Iceland. So they named this cold country up in, in, the, <laughs> in the North Atlantic Greenland to try to bring people there. Yeah, and Denmark didn't do too well with that. Dan the Danish own it, and um, they just never populated it. I don't think a lot good, of people. Yeah, chat's, I thought chat was going to struggle here. They're doing very well. Good, good, good. But uh, I, I don't think a lot of people. I see what you're saying. I, I, I think uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people. Hey, Becky, thanks for coming in. Uh, I think a, a lot of people don't realize Greenland is also okay. part of North America. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So and, and then it's, Iceland it's, is part of Europe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, Iceland is most close. It, it is. You can yeah. hop from uh, Ireland by plane yeah. to Iceland very quickly. All right. So, Brian? Uh, it, it's Reykjavik. All right. James? I'm going to pronounce it as a uh, Icelander. Reykjavik. All right. And wow. Kelly? What James said. What James Reykjavik. Said. <laughs> All right. I think that's I think two everybody guys got I that went one, to high school they? with. Rick and Vic. What? You went to high school with a guy that? <laughs> Rick and Vic. That's good. Well done. I, I, le I learned that answer from where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where, where Carmen? is Carmen San Diego? Math used to play a um, video game because I wouldn't let him play like real video games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> Like uh, you, so you he would probably be good at this. Television. Becky, that's um, <laughs> that's interesting because I don't I don't use Google Maps except for local stuff. But I have a series of atlases in my house that I enjoy reading all the time. I think oh, that's wow. I think men are fascinated with geography, particularly if you've been in the military. You know, it's it's yeah. I, I mean, gotta love that. And then I have hard time when I talk to people that were in Iraq when they can't tell me where they were. I'm like, how did you not know where you were? I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was in what, 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 what really annoys me is kids these days, they they can't point to like California on a map. They can't point to where they live, where they live. Well, that's, actually, that's actually very troubling. They, they gave use the map. Um, my kids traders. went to Catholic school so they they had to learn the states the capitals and memorize them and 
say it in public. So, um, no, a public Catherine school. Catherine, darling, good They're not even you. learning how to. Hi, Catherine. Uh, nice job. Uh, use cursive writing anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good night, Catherine. Good night, right. Catherine. Are we, we ready you. for the last question of the round? Yes, sir. All right. Question number 10. How many tectonic plates are there in the earth? Is it A, 6, B, 7, or C, 5? What's the answer, Cargo? <laughs> I'm going to guess. Is it the same that's, as continent? That's a good question. Oh, my gosh. I love some good tectonic music. And, and that's not geography. <laughs> that's geology. I love when they put the little techno in there, mix it with some old school. Kelly, do you know what happens when one of the, these tectonic plates rub up against each other? A baby? No. <laughs> it's an earthquake. Um, I'm used to them. They're called. I knew it was an earthquake. A rumble in the jungle. All right. Well, Chat, you can put your answer in. <laughs> Also, like all the islands in the Pacific, most of them are created as a hot spot that was underneath mm -hmm. the tectonic plate. Yep. And if you can watch, you can actually see the line that the hot spot. And many of them evidenced by volcano development. Yep. No yep. one's yep. extinct, but that's why the center island has that cone like mountain. I, I live on the Ring of Fire. Oh, wow. You do. You do. I do. In, um, Western California. You know, is anyone else California, hearing Western Johnny Cash <laughs> like so awesomely? Because I am in my mind. A ring of fire. Oh, <laughs> All right. No, Brian? No. Um, seven. Let me see Johnny Cash. All right. James? Um, I think B, seven. Um, All right. There is I was going to say seven only because aren't there seven continents? Uh, there is. Well, and they don't so there you go. I was going to say it. seven. That's a yeah. good for you. Yeah. I'm sure they're not correlated whatsoever. They they actually are. Oh, look at me being amazing. <laughs> I know geography. I know That's geography. Like, actually, it's geology. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in college, I took, um, for my physical science uh, credit, I took uh, introduction to oceanography. Fascinating subject, isn't it? Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! I think a little if bit of you live in California, that's a must. Like you yeah, must. There was a little geography in there. There was a little a little uh, biology in there. Um, Hi, a little bit of navigation. Hey Dave. What? Hey, it's Larry. Take him out. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. <sighs> How are you, Dave? My Navy buddy. Fair winds, brother. All right, let me go ahead and start. Let me get some of this figured up real quick. Oh, well, good. I'm going to get some water. Okay. Wink, wink. Just kidding. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. <laughs> no, really. I just ran out. <laughs> what, what? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Dave, Did you I... see that? He was there. Well, I and then he I'm, was... I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, right. And or is it memorable? In, in all fairness, I'm not curly. That that honor goes to Mike Klemovich. Oh, you just you don't get to pick your nickname, sir. Dave <laughs> Dave has given it to you. You do you, you, <laughs> actually my nickname. You call him some ridiculous name, which he does not enjoy. So you you are stuck with curly. I'm <laughs> Just Actually, my, my nickname ever since high school was, uh, believe it or not, Archie. Why? Because when I was in high school, I had flaming red hair. What? I had, well, look at my mustache. A lot of people this have is, red my, mustache. My, uh, the hair on my head was the same color. Archie. Huh. Archie. <laughs> like from the comics, not from Archie Bunker. I had I had a nickname. You had a nickname. Yeah. What was that? Red. 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 That's a good nickname for you, Kelly. 
That's a perfect nickname for you. Don't ask my brother what his nickname for me was. It wasn't very good. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine was Jeb. Oh, wow. Jeb. <laughs> Jeb. Okay, Dave. <laughs> Kelly, did you see what Dave posted? <laughs> Let me put on my glasses so I can see. Oh, um, now you, you have to. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right. Everybody in chat, put what your nickname was in high school or college or from your family. Oh, Cargo won't tell us. Well, she says she can't say it here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. message me, family. girlfriend. People call me by the second part of my my full name. Like close friends call me Topher. Topher. Oh, you yeah. know, I have a friend that goes by Topher. His name's Christopher, and he yeah. he changed his name and everything to Topher. Oh wow. Well, I mean, you got like that, that one actor, Topher Grace. His real name's Christopher. He just goes by Topher. But yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's actually a cool nickname. A lot of boys are called their last name in high school. Like everybody calls mm -hmm. them their last name. Well, unless you're me, because I have two first names. So James and Ryan, James and Ryan. So it's like a yeah. reversible jacket. You can wear either side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, it's like a hey, reversible look, no, I'm, jacket. I'm Where I'm the heck did that come from? I, I would have people mispronounce my last name to an insult. And, yeah, I'm over that. <laughs> well, people got to be mindful of the fact that we all don't know each other as well as we think we do. There was the other night on Kelly's stream, somebody was berating someone for a misspelling. You know, of take their it name. easy. Take Calm it down. easy. Oh, yeah, her yeah, her easy down. Be Especially if you have like a, I mean, you should never correct someone in situation yeah. honestly you like me, people spell my name, name with an i on the end all the time i just go with it like okay i've also seen it. them spell it k-e-l-l-e-y you know what are you gonna yeah. do <laughs> i answer to it all i answer Absolutely. you you got a message there <laughs> i actually uh actually my daughter Haley just called us and asked us why we why we spelled her name the way it is because it's h-a-l-e-y Because um, she, she was I think I know. Her name I was actually Halle, is what she was trying to tell us. Her actual name, Halle. Oh my! All right. <laughs> you know, I did. Oh my gosh, I was running late. I didn't put ears on. All right, I'll give you the scores. My hair uh, flat. So understand, I'm going to double check these. So I'm going to give you what I got right now. I got James at ten. I got Brian at ten. I got. Catherine and Willoughby at six. I got Kelly at eight. I got Kevin at nine. I got Sa Sandy at six. I got Josh at eight. I got Jonathan Mays at five and Cargo at six. Way to go, everyone. I mean, honest to goodness, actually, I only Chris, guessed I actually that have one. nine. You have nine? I have nine. I missed one. Did you? Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for being honest. Yeah, you um, fool. Brian, <laughs> there's a thing called uh, glasses, like um, beverage glasses. <laughs> um, I always drink out of the bottle. I know. Party. Do you do you drink one of those? Do bottles you do that so food? no one you don't have to share. Now, how long will that? How long will that bottle last you? Is that a one um, night drink? Actually, actually, I opened this last night. Okay. Okay. All right. Are we ready for round number two? Round two. Is this visual round? This is visuals, and I'm gonna put up the. The world of a wonder of the world, and you tell me what country it's in. Are these Ooh. natural wonders are man made. There, I think the first, I think there's seven man made, and then naturals make up the rest. Okay, so all right, so here is the first wonder of the my world. How was her fighting? Okay, oh, oh, I know this one. I'm gonna guess. On I'm telling you, Kelly, if you just think Disney World, you'll come up with it. Yep. 
Uh, well, and I live pretty close to this. That that is <laughs> that is a Mayan pyramid, and what distinguishes it from? I don't uh, think an everybody's Egyptian, answered yet. <laughs> what distinguishes it from an Egyptian pyramid is this, is the stepped design rather than the slope design. All right, chat. You can put your answers in. I'm sorry. WrestleMania is going on with my chihuahuas right now. So, I mean, oh, lovely. That, that's impossible. WrestleMania is in April. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're doing a qualifying round. Though. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan Chong. Hey, uh, yeah. Jonathan. Yeah, yeah we're, we're actually looking for the country. And I'm going to tell you, I think I have two of them on here that are represented by two countries. If you just get one of the countries right, you get the points. Okay. Look at James. He's all confident. Of course. Well, this is, this was easier than some of those oce oceanic questions. <laughs> oh, I, I know. Mean, I, in the desert one, I had to think about it. I was like, well, oh, the, the, the length of the Kalahari, the length of the... <laughs> <laughs> all right all right brian that's in mexico mexico all right james republic de mexico all right kelly mexico mexico and the <laughs> correct answer is mexico so i've got my second round paper out let me i go do ahead. not want to dishonor the wonderful country of Mexico by attempting to speak with their <laughs> dialect. I was I was watching a uh, TikTok they today have, about, about these pyramids, and it was a a guy was a Hispanic comedian. He goes, "Thanks for the, coming in, Jonathan. You have a good night, friend. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, Jonathan. Thank you, but, Jonathan." Uh, but the guy was talking about, he goes, I don't know. They're, they're always questioning the pyramids in Egypt, whether the Egyptians built them or the Jews built them or somebody else built them or anything like that. He goes, but nobody denies that the ones in Mexico were built by Mexicans. Is what he said. He goes, That's how you can tell we are the hardest workers in the world. Oh, yeah. They are the hardworking people. Hard he said, the aliens come down and we said, we got this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if it's historically accurate, but my uh, mascot in high school was the Aztecs. <laughs> and in yeah. like our mural, there was a pyramid. So I don't know if the Aztecs actually had a pyramid like that. But um, I'll sing my fight song if we get really <laughs> <laughs> corona, corona. Oh, yes, I say it to James every time I I drive by it. I'm like, every time we and drive by the motion, because right. I still remember the. And she you takes know, your hands right off motion. the steering wheel. And yeah. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> "All right, oh. I fasten my seatbelt tighter and hunker down." Oh are my we ready? goodness! <laughs> yeah. right. Here is our second wonder. Oh wow! Easy smeezy. Yeah, that's definitely a wonder. Oh, geez. Amazing, absolutely. I you haven't know, been there in person. I would love to, but man, just visually, it's just breathtaking. It, oh yeah, the, it's a funny. It's a funny city, though. Um, I'll give you a hint. This isn't in El Salvador. <laughs> if he's not an umpire saying he's safe at home it's um all right yeah, you can put your answers in Good job, everybody. Great dancing. <laughs> All right. Brian. 
Um, that was in uh, Brazil. All right. James? Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. All right. What is with you two in the accent? It's Brazil. All right. <laughs> Brazil, of course. Well, at least I didn't say Brazil. The national language in Brazil is Portuguese. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Interesting. Um, and, and, and there's so, a great, it's the largest great country. Story. It's the largest country in South America, and it's uh, also non Spanish speaking. So, no, South America is not all Spanish speaking. Yeah. No, yeah. Is, Argentina, is, there's, there's German. A lot of refugees. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil was one, uh, the papal demarcation line. They submitted arbitration to the Pope who draw a line down South America. Um, and the Portuguese got the Brazilian side and the Spaniards got the other. And since the Pope was a Spaniard, Spain got most. Oh, wow. Well. Trying. I guess that's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Love the history lessons. Uh, it's one of my favorite episodes of papal history. Well, I think anytime you see where anything that has to do with Brazil, obviously, uh, Jesus or is it Jesus, Christ the Redeemer? That's what it is. Yeah, right? that's the statue, Christ yeah. the Redeemer. They show it every time. In every plane. That I love lands that song Rio, too. Every plane that lands lands in Rio de Janeiro has its route to its left, so you see it as you come in. Fascinating. Right. right. All right. Are we ready for the next one? Yes, yes, sir. This one should be an easy one. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I've been on many a field trip here. Oh, I have actually never been there. How can really? you call yourself oh. a California American? <laughs> well, but it's not in California. Oh, and I'll tell you, it is... is and, and let no one differ. This place never disappoints. Never. Okay. I mean, it's amazing. But, like, every time I've gone, I look and I'm like, wow, that's really neat. When are we eating? <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat, you can put your answers in. I would, I would, I would be the one Let's take a picture. Boom. When are we eating? <laughs> I would I would be the one getting arrested for peeing off the side. Okay, that is ew. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. <laughs> ew. Have you have you oh, ever... oh boom with a with a dig from Josh? What Ooh, Ooh. I gotta put my glasses on for this one. Nosy. <laughs> Don't you be talking about my girl like oh. that? Oh, oh my God. I wonder... Wow. They must, be, they must be chatting in from separate rooms. Them <laughs> words, buddy. Well, I, I only seen her come in and <laughs> say hello. I haven't seen her in the chat since then. <laughs> wow. I'm, t I'm messing with her right now. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. All right, Brian. Uh, that is the Grand Canyon in the state of Arizona in the good old United States of America. All right. James? The U.S. of A. in the Grand Canyon state of Arizona. Kelly? Same thing. This is actually in Peru. It's not the Grand Canyon. It's, oh, well, parts uh... <laughs> of it are in Colorado, too. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, it's Grand Canyon. Yes, you're correct. It, and it's, it's also a, a sure sign of erosion. Oh yeah, because of the Colorado River. Colorado is the mm -hmm. Colorado. Yeah, yeah, it is the Colorado River, the one that all seven states have a straw in that's eventually going to go dry. Right, right. Like Lake Mead is right now. Yeah, yeah. I heard. I heard uh, that Lake Mead is actually increasing water. Well, it no, its shoreline is trying. All these dead bodies are popping up. It's, oh it's Lord, cool. dead bodies. Of people? Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. You have the mob running mob. in Vegas for years. Where do you think they dump them? Yeah. That's not happy. <laughs> They're all coming from Las Vegas. Yep. <laughs> Josh and Becky have a fantastic video all about the Excalibur and their experience in Las Vegas. So please go check out Midlife Vibes I did for see everything fun. <laughs> 
Oh, they yeah. are. They're fun people. They're nice people. I actually wouldn't mind staying at Excalibur. I stayed at Excalibur one time. I've only been to Las Vegas. I, I, I two times I and one Atlanta. time we stayed at Excalibur. I'm far too frugal to gamble, so I um oh I am cheap. Games? I do not gamble. I sit there and put like the nickel machine and get the free drinks. Like because they bring you free I didn't drinks. Do, I didn't even do that. I, whenever I'm there, I always go out and look at the Hoover Dam and go on the tour inside it. I find that fascinating. It James, is very there, fascinating. There is so much to do in Vegas without gambling. Yeah. I mean, you can spend a lot of money. If I'm going to waste money, it is going to be on well, buying and something. That's, and that's it probably not going to be thrown away for that. And that's probably true, Brian, but keep in mind, there's one of the years in the exactly an empty, vast wasteland of known culture. I mean, mm -hmm. the Hoover Dam. There's a lot of restaurants mean. there. And I have to one. just say, Matthew, we went and did the tour with my parents of the Hoover Dam, and he was five years old, and he loved saying "damn" so yep. much and not getting in trouble. So it was like ridiculous the amount of times he was like, "This is so damn neat." <laughs> <laughs> so like cousin Eddie is what you're saying. <laughs> they have an experience that you can do in Vegas at uh, the gun store where they allow you, I think it's for four hundred dollars, they have this uh, shoot the wall package where you get to fire several different types of guns, everything from a, a nineteen eleven uh handgun all the way up to your AK forty sevens, your uh Uzis, I mean all kinds of firearms that you would Check normally some never be able to fire. <laughs> All right. And are we ready for number four? Pretty nice song. Yeah, we are. Before we have another speech about the Second Amendment. <laughs> Ooh. Now, what are you looking for here, Chris? Because I know oh, the Lord. I know the country's in the name. Let's just this is how we're looking for the country. <laughs> okay. But it was I would love to jog that, that wall. <laughs> oh, thunder from down under. Gotta love that. I would like to go see Donnie Osmond, who is in Las Vegas, because that man, yum. And, um, well, his sister's not too shabby either, the wonderful Marie. Well, whatever. Chat, let's not forget not to put your answer in until I ask you to. Uh-oh, you, um, you all got scolded, and even though you got it right, you got scolded. <laughs> all right, the rest of you can put your answers in. <laughs> Remember to put your answers in only when you hear the buzzer go off. Please oh, put goodness, your number two, calm down. Put your number two pencil down. Do not go on. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm talking about because they don't test that way anymore. Fill in the bubble. <laughs> Right, with your number two pencil. Do not attempt to use a pencil of a different gradation. It will not sufficiently mark the oval. And you oh, my will lose goodness. Credit. <laughs> the re the Jonathan, reason why... Jonathan thinks this is from uh, from Soren at Epcot. Is what he That's right. Yes, <laughs> oh yes, yes, and yes. The, the reason why they want a number two pencil is not because of the lead. It's because of the eraser. Fantastic. Because if you make a mistake, the, the eraser will, will take all the uh, lead out. So Fantastic. All right. right. Brian? That is the Great Wall of China. That is correct. It is right. the Great Wall of China. And it was, it was, yeah, it was, that's a good point, Brian. It was originally built to keep the Mongol horde from invading. I Kelly. saw that in um, Mulan, I think. So, Kelly? China. Well, you have to say it. I mean, what if you would have said something wrong? Then I got to go. Well, I'm sorry, Kelly. Uh, <laughs> but it's no, going to be right, really cool. Then they say this there. can be seen from space. Isn't that right? Allegedly. Allegedly. But apparently, you can see you can see the Epcot ball from space, and there's apparently a, a golf club right next to it. 
Okay. <laughs> the only other thing I ever heard that you could hear from space was uh, the Luxor, the light on the top of the pyramid. Oh. Yeah, it like 10 million candle, watt or candle power. How cool is that? I also think it's cool that we still measure illumination by candle power when we haven't used candles as our primary source for a century. Yeah. But, well, you, <laughs> how was it back then, James? How was it was it? candle power, we had, you know, and then it was horsepower. Yeah, horsepower, um, yes. We, we used I actually, these, yeah, our I find that kind of endearing. I actually yeah. heard somebody measure something in duck power not too long ago. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> Well, I heard you measure the, the power of flatulence and pig power. Oh my Take god. Take him oh. out. Take <laughs> him out. All right. Are we ready for number five? Yes. All right. Here we go. What is wow, Kelly? What did I say? <laughs> Take him out. Oh goodness gracious. Wow. Josh, where is this? I won't tell you when you call me. Josh, where is this? Ooh. All right, chat, you can put your answers in. Cargo, just copy off Jane's like I do. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty area. <laughs> That's what I think. I, I thought that was real pretty. I don't think anybody lives there anymore, but it's real pretty. Right. <laughs> I, I think it's supposed to be like a historical um, protected landmark. But you can't live there anymore. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just um say somewhere that it's not? Sure. Okay. But you won't get and it right. Get it right? No, you won't get it right. <laughs> Kelly, it's definitely not in your backyard, much as you wish it would be. All right. Brian. Uh, that's Machu Picchu, that's in Peru. All right. James? Peru, it is Machu Picchu. It's on Easter Island. Kelly? Machu Picchu, of course. Where, okay. What country? What country? Peru. Okay. <laughs> it's not people Peru. climb Machu Picchu. Good job, Kelly. People climb a lot of stuff, Kelly. <laughs> That's, I that's, would not be doing that, that. that. That's the reason why they're the uh, pyramid there at the Mexico Pavilion has the sign. Please do not climb. <laughs> yep. It's tempting. Let's be honest. I mean, haven't you ever gone up there and thought, mm, well, that would be kind of neat. I, I don't <laughs> want to be kicked out and banned for life. Yeah. But I mean, there's like that little thing that says. They well, really do kind of ban you for life if you climb the pyramid. They should. They should. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they'll ban you for life, but they've done, they've banned people for life before. So. Yeah, yeah they banned Adam cool. the Woo for life for. Well, and that's, you know, that's at the end of, if you start in Canada with all these knuckleheads that wear t-shirts and say, I'm drinking around the world. By the time they get to Mexico and they're all zipper headed. I, I have started in Canada and not once did I ever think I'm going to climb that one. Talking about <laughs> drinking around the world, go to Josh and Becky's channel and watch where they drink around the world. And they did it. They wow. did it. And it is flipping hilarious. And, and were, were they absolutely fit chased? Well, you're going to have to go watch. It is absolutely. so good. There's so many awesome friends with them. And uh, Kelly, was, were you with them? Great video. I was not. I wish I had been, but I was unfortunately in Arizona. Kelly, Kelly but, would have been fit chased if they would have started a candidate. She would have been fit chased by America. So, all right. No, I would have been out before then. <laughs> Are we ready for number six? <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. Number six. Oh. Nice. Can we just name it? 
No, I have to have the country. Yep. And I will tell you, this one is actually considered in two countries. So two countries. one. Yeah, on one side they own it, and the other side they own it. Right? Or they claim to. It's kind of like where I live. On one side of the city, it's Ohio. On the other side of the city, it's Indiana. All right, chat, you can put your answer in. <laughs> they have on the one side, like these guys that are in like an army. That I, um, I just don't see where the line is to get on the ride. In that picture. <laughs> 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 Yeah, in the disputed disputed part, Josh, very, very good. I'll talk to that in a minute. By the way, that was a beautiful picture you got. Yeah, I have to go search the, for those. <laughs> Cargo guess you can't reach without a ladder. I have been blessed. Yeah, I think I think you got a cargo in person. Is, this, I think everybody knows what it is, but no one knows what country it's in. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. You should just be able to name the mountain. Brian. Um, Mount Everest is in the nation of. It's like right on the border of the nation of Nepal. Okay. James. Nepal, and as as Josh points out, bordering with Tibet, but that part of Tibet is disputed by China. Okay, so Kelly, Nepal. What they said, uh, Nepal and Tibet and China. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. It is Nepal, and it is considered to be a region of China. Although the Tibetans don't agree. Well, yeah. I yeah. I watched a um biography or something about these these warrior guys like now they're like awesome fighting guys <laughs> they're fighting fight. guys mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if i'm right uh when michael j fox was looking for happy places around the world i think he went to tibet and he said the whole time he was there he never had one uh attack or felt because wow. he was trying to find places of hope and things that were happy. And uh, that was wow. one of the places he went. Mm-hmm. You'll, you'll never guess where he went before. Or one of the places he went before. He went to Wrig- Wrigley Field. Oh yeah, no no, no, stress there. Well, he was like, well, he, he said because of the whole thing of hope. Oh, wow. Uh, I was so told cool. I was told by a caller by a caller that or a, a homeowner that I was talking to that left California moved to Illinois. Um, that I, I told her one of these days I'd love to go to a, a, a game at Wrigley Field. She says, You have to, there's nothing like going to a game at Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field's like, yeah, unless you're going to Yankee Stadium, Stadium. it's like <laughs> stepping back out. in the heyday of baseball, or even New England's Fenway Park. Oh, yeah, oh, well, yeah, which opened on the day the Titanic sunk. Um, is that why? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, are we ready for the next one? We are. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Remember, I'm asking what country it's in. Oh, my God. This one should be easy if you watch your Transformer movies. (laughs) (laughs) Where did you find these pictures? My gosh. Google. He of took course. them himself. <laughs> I want to go to the part of Thailand that only accessible to sailors or the people from that area. Uh, I, or, call me, call me so cargo. I've been to Bangkok and parts of Thailand. I um, it's been a while, but I can give you the lowdown. <laughs> All right, chat. You can put your answers in. Thailand. 
I've heard that that city, the city of Bangkok, is one of the most uh, beautiful but most corrupt cities in the world. Hmm. I like that song about Bangkok. Okay. Brian. Um, Jordan. All right. James agrees. Yes, Jordan. Kelly. I have no idea, but I'm going to say Jordan. All right. Can somebody name what the, what the structure is? It's where um, it's where Indiana Jones goes in and gets the um, the Last Crusade going. It's 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 called Petra. Petra, right? That's, if I'm but right, it is, an, it is an Indiana Jones. I mean, that's I believe it is considered the first Christian church too. No, no, no I'm not I correct. Would dispute that. I would dispute that. Okay, I thought I'd seen a thing where they talked about it was considered one of the first Christian churches. It would be, but I mean. The first mass was in Jerusalem, so I mean, I okay. would make the argument that Jerusalem holds the record. Okay, <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Nice to see you. We got. But one thing I did not—I did not know that that was one of the seven wonders of the world. Which is yeah. cool. I thought I knew them all, but that one I didn't have on my memory banks. Well, the, this was like since this year is what they're oh, okay. saying. So I don't know if they change or anything like that, but. Yeah, guess... it does change because for a long time the Eiffel Tower was on there and it's not anymore. Right. You would figure that would be one of them. I mean, as for as man made wonders. Of course, there's there's a lot of stuff that I think should hey, be. Ellie. Oh, Ellie, Ellie. Ellie. Kelly, can I borrow your puppy? Nope. She's my baby. She's my baby. How happy she is. She's giving kisses too. Okay. All right. Come here. Here we got everybody. All right. Are we ready for number eight? Yeah. And there's boo stick. Boo. Oh, I've been there. Me too. In there. That is one of those wonders of the world that I have actually set foot in. The one place I thought was one of the wonders of the world isn't one of the wonders of the world that I actually been to. Which was uh, and yes, that it's absolutely gorgeous and it's amazing the intricacy. All right, chat, you can put your answer in. Remember, we're looking for the hey, Jerry, thanks for coming in, Box Ghost. So we are looking for the country that this is in. I've also been to one of the smallest countries in the world. Hey, let's get Vatican it for City. ourselves, Brian. Oh, where's that? <laughs> I said, let's keep that to ourselves, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, that city is one that I promised Kelly I would take her to, and she will... I she have been inside the Sistine Chapel. We well, have to distinguish between Rome and Vatican Hill, but um, because this is a little, this is down towards the old senatorial complex, the, the obelisk, the right. uh, Circus of Nero. Um, it's very close to St. John Lateran. All right. Brian? Um, that is the great Roman Colosseum in the country of Italia. All right. James? Yes. Kelly? The Eternal what City. Roman City. <laughs> I'm just going to start just putting ditto down for Kelly. Yes. So. <laughs> Rome. 
That is on my people, like bucket people, list for many sure. Many people, um, many people, very much like Paris, and I do. We, but I love Rome. When my family visited uh, Rome, we stayed in a hotel that was about half a block from the Trevi Fountain. And we, we would yeah. walk down there and everybody would be throwing their coins in the fountains. In, in the fountain, uh, And there were these old guys that were sitting up on either end of the, on either side of the fountain with fishing poles with magnets catching the coins that people were throwing in there. <laughs> That's interesting, Cargo. <laughs> Um, yep. Rome can be, you can be, um, you can stay in Rome, Jonathan, for um, reasonable money. Um, and just like Paris, if you're three blocks off center, you're going to save some money. But Rome is very, very affordable. Mm -hmm. And the exchange rate has always been favorable. Of course, they switched to euro since I've been there. Um, Gary, yeah. these are all very different. Very different. <laughs> very different. They're different shades of blue. They're different shades of blue. <laughs> oh it's a wider God. shade of pale. Um, I'm obsessed with them. So. All right. <laughs> are we ready for number nine? Yes, yes. we are. This is uh, okay. Once I uh, once I pull this up, Jonathan, this is you can't say Soren at Epcot. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> 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 Oh well, and look, it's not crooked. <laughs> not crooked. I can I can smell the jasmine and the, the flowers, oh, yeah. the spices. Now, what what a lot of people don't realize is that that building is actually a tomb. Yes, it's a mausoleum. It is indeed. I mean, wow. I thought you said tube. I was like, yes, I okay, tomb. Okay. You know what I always found interesting architecturally, though, because they were Hindi, um, but they have minarets, um, which I, I, I think is really cool. It blended, it blended both the Hindi and Sikh traditions. And, and they had the onion domes and all that. Yeah, very very neat. All right, chat. You can enter your, enter your answer. And I, I really, I really uh, feel so sorry about this country it's gotten such a bad reputation over the past few years just because of the actions of a few people it's, it's really sad <clears throat> all right waiting to see if anybody else will bring, put in All right, Brian. Very different. That, that is the Taj Mahal located in the nation of India. All right, James. India. Kelly. India. Who lives there? I'm, I'm sure you knew that without piggybacking off of James, right? No, I knew that one. Yeah. That's where okay. Gandhi's at, right? I I, I admit Ooh. it when I'm. Gandhi. <laughs> Actually, is it a. Uh... So you say it's a mausoleum, right? It is. I mean, it is. Do you, does it house anybody important? or it, A wealthy um, Indian um, entombed his wife there. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Did and he kill her first? He, he loved her so much that he, he built that monument for her. Uh, see, okay. and I just thought, you know, maybe it was housed for like somebody like Gandhi or somebody that was important. Yeah. Like that. Well, Gandhi yeah. lived in an ashram, very, very simply. Yeah. So, uh, and Gandhi was well after uh, the Taj Mahal was built. Right. And he also lived very simply. He wore homespun and he lived in an ashram. All right. <clears throat> Let me make sure I got everybody. <clears throat> and it's a great movie, too. Yeah, I need to put Brian. <laughs> did you like Gandhi? Jane. I did. I did too. And Kelly down. I forgot it. All right, we ready for number 10? Yes, yes. sir. All right. Number 10. Number 10. Oh. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah. This, this is one that sits in two different countries. If you get one country yeah, right. Does. Oh my goodness. I thought I loved you so much before Cargo, but I love me some Cheetah Girls. <laughs> All right, chat, you can put your answer in. <laughs> it's massive. Oh, yeah. What 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 what's the difference between when it, they say it's a cataract falls? What is means they have something on their eyes? <laughs> Kelly, that was almost as bad as one of my jokes. I'm so funny. I don't know. You don't know. All right. I think we got a lot of people in. All right. Brian. Uh, South Africa. Okay. James. Zimbabwe or Zambia. All right. Kelly. Zimbabwe in Africa. I have no idea, but I'm just going to copy James. It is in Zimbabwe or Z Zambia. Yes. Very pretty. Is this like in a lot of movies where they're like about to go over it? Is that 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 one? That's Niagara Falls. No, I know that one. But, in a barrel. You know, like adventure movies. Now, and and Josh can correct me if I'm wrong, but before Zimbabwe, which is a relatively recent nation, it was all part of Rhodesia, and that's why it's named for Queen Victoria and Cecil Rhodes. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. Cecil, Cecil Rhodes founded the area, and that's why it was called Rhodesia. This is fun, actually. I love geography. Kevin says, or I'm sorry, Jerry said that a cataract waterfall occurs when a large amount of fast-moving water falls over a cliff. <clears throat> so smart. Thank you, Jerry. He Googled it. All right, it is I think that, that was it for that. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll f I'm gonna wait until we give an update. We'll wait until the end for all of it because it is probably gonna take me a while to do it, or I can do it now, which actually probably will save time end. at the end. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I'll just do it real quick. Okay. <sighs> So Kelly, do you have any places that you would like me to pop into at, uh, Di at downtown Disney on Friday? Oh yeah, the dress shop dress, the dress shop. Okay. To look at the dresses. I can do that for you. Oh, by the way, Kelly, I'm, I'm, I love downtown Disney. It, oh, it's a blast! It, it, it's it's a. Uh, it's a lot smaller than a lot of the big malls that are out there. There's just this vibe that's just so great, mm -hmm. you know. Kelly, I, th I think I'm going to end up missing the stream on the 16th of October. Which one is that? Oh, because you're traveling? No. What's that's happening? My birthday. Oh, your birthday. I go nice. out to dinner on my birthday every year. Nice. So I have I have a feeling I'm gonna end up missing that stream just a little bit. I forget what I have scheduled. I I start working on those, trying to get them all organized. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I'm always in search of a new one. While we're talking, I'm gonna show you what some of my favorites. My Roger Rabbit. 
Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Got my girl Jessica on it. That's Roger Rabbit. This is cake worthy. Kelly, how many denim jackets do you have? Never enough. <laughs> I just got um, a red one. I have this white one. And then, you know, they're different, like, um, thicknesses. So, you know, you can wear some cooler, some. The, the Kelly I style. love me some denim. And the then, Kelly style, a denim jacket and a tablecloth. Oh my goodness. I just got this one at Goodwill of all places. It's an embroidered Mickey. $6.99. <laughs> yes, I love me a denim jacket. It just, you know, pulls the outfit together. Ethel, I need to send you some uh, some of my old tablecloths so you can make Kelly a new dress. <laughs> I love gingham. I am in uh, Next Tuesday, I will hang everything gingham I have. You will not believe it. Can I show my shoes? Did anybody not see my shoes? <laughs> like, literally, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at these. These are like I literally I put these on and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm I'm so cute, I'm just so happy. These shoes make they like make me run faster, jump higher, spin, turn, twirl, smile. That's just because you're happy in them. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Look at these. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I I am obsessed with these shoes. Obsessed. Yes, Kelly is obsessed with denim and tablecloths. Yes, look, this not only has blue tablecloth on it, has red, blue, red. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. I'm like. And, and oh to complete God. the cafe ensemble, she needs a check pattern shoes. Like black and white checkerboard. Oh, 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 I have those. Should I get those? He does have those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you dress like a cafe? Yes, I'm really hoping my, I have a gingham red and white dress that really does, I mean, so fun. And it has pockets. It has pockets. But I want to wear it to Magic Kingdom with some like lady in the tramp ears right. and um go to the lady in the tramp restaurant tony's and maybe you know put a couple meatballs on, on there so are we ready for the update yeah or we can yeah. just All keep right. talking about my dress so, right now we have kelly with 28 we have james with 30 we have brian with 27 we have josh with 28 we have john with 20 we have or Jonathan Chong with 20. We have Jonathan Mays with seven, Cargo with 18, Kevin with 27, Sandy with six, and Catherine with six. Uh, to be honest, Chris, I, I I only knew like three of those. I know. So I feel bad for getting the point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what does it matter? You take the banana anyway if we win. So I, mean. um, I don't take anything, Chris sends it to me to my address so he must think i That's want because the guy who won it told me to send it to that address <laughs> <laughs> yes i still have mine all right <laughs> let me see something real quick and i i had to bathe it when i got it home from work yes because... yes jerry you could right. appeal banana all right how many questions in this round chris five Ten. Oh, ten. 10. Yeah. Three points a piece, right? Three points a piece. Are we ready? Yes. Ready. All right. First question. Remember this, there's no multiple choice, just questions. Okay. Ooh, you have to know your beans. Number one, what is the name of the tallest mountain in the world? The name of the tallest mountain in the world? Yes. Ooh, now this could be a trick question. 
Or it could not. <laughs> <laughs> because if you think about it, islands are just mountains in the sea. Hmm. I'm not don't even going to say that what I'm thinking of saying, Josh. <laughs> no, I'm just making everybody else overthink it. <laughs> Is it the one that everybody climbs and dies? All right. Chat, you can put your answers in. Josh, you want to be an honorary banana? An honorary banana. <laughs> Josh, you're driving us bananas. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Banana. Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's it? Orange. <laughs> Orange, James. Keep it going. Who's there? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> <laughs> That was like a go-to in like second grade. Like, oh like, yeah, you know, bring the house down. Yes. I think we got everybody in here. Yep. All right, Brian, what do you have for me? Why, I'm going to have to say that the tallest mountain in the world would be Mount Everest. All right, James. Mount Everest. Kelly? Mount Everest. That is correct. Mount Everest is the tallest in the world. <laughs> Who's there, Cargo? <laughs> I've got a great one. Yeah. Knock, knock, knock. Who's Who's there? There? Archie. Archie. Archie who? Gesundheit. <laughs> knock, knock. Who there? Boo. Boo. What's not anything to cry about? <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Cal. Oh, dishes who, Cargo? I know any lifetime I've lived in, dishes is me. There was no answer to that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a right. challenge came in from Hatbox Ghost. Oh, yeah. I love it when, you know, he's coming in with the facts. All right. Are we ready for the next question? Number two. Yeah, yes, Let me sp switch it to number two. All right. Number two. <laughs> Which country has the largest population in the world? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to get over cargoes. Okay, what which country has the which largest country population has the largest in the population in the world? I think we know that. I hope so. They are they are a country that is starting to crumble too. So Yep. They're going down, down, down. <laughs> I'm bringing the burning ring of fire back. Well they I I'll I'll speak to that after that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So I've, I've got a bad joke here. Oh, gosh. So All right. Um, Are any of yours Pat, good? Go ahead and put your answer in. So uh, me and Mike Wheeler walked into a bar. Oh, yeah, God. of course we did. What's wrong, oh, Kelly? Um, He didn't answer. He said he's going to, he has a bad joke. I asked if any of his were good. Well, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> So, so, so yeah, so so me and Mike Wheeler end up walking into a bar. Yeah, of course we did. What? I said I'm me, so myself, confused. and Mike into, Wheeler into, into, into a, a bar. bar. Of course we did. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> We've been um, 
I don't know. You guys are again going to PC jail. You're making fun of sight and visually impaired people. I'm calling the national. It's not Chris's fault. So please do not right. send him any letters. <laughs> send them all to Brian's West Coast Disney Adventures. <laughs> hey, I, I never said I was politically correct. All right. I think everybody's in. Brian, what's your answer? James is just trying to drum up um, business. The most populous nation in the world is the People's Republic of China. He's got denim jackets right. to pay for. James? China. All right. Did you, did you have to say it like Trump? <laughs> Kelly? I like the red ones. China. I, have we not? I, Chris, it's yes. just you and me right now. Have okay. we ever had a stream with so many accents? <laughs> Well, I, I mean, we used to scream, stream with Gonzo. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. True. True. What's your oh, answer, Kelly? Gosh. China. All right. The answer is China. And follow her close behind by Who's India. Who's there, Margo? And I'm actually getting along with, we're getting along now, so. Uh, I was actually on a stream the other night. Their economy is oh, about. Oh, you were. You yeah. The, the Chinese economy is um, contracting pretty significantly. Right. And um. Uh, thank you, Cargo. And the country is thank a toxic you. bowl of environmental death. Right. Um, it, it's a mess. Um, I think one of the things is is. You know, you know, everybody wants to go to clean stuff, but the problem is if you can't get places like China to go and do it and everything like that, I mean, yes, yeah. But there's, there's still open pit coal burning. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm not saying we shouldn't try to keep the earth clean, but if you think we're going to make that big of a change when we got other countries who won't follow us into that, and mm -hmm. that's probably, that is one of the reasons why some people are afraid for us to go in to make that change, that a country like China will take advantage of that and you know we'll yeah. uh you know take advantage of it against us so that's a lot of times although i i, I think their their might militarily is vastly overrated I, I i truly i you know lots of people think that we will lose against a military like that i just see it this way that a billion people running at me i don't have to aim so oh I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean in every major engagement since the 19th century, they've been roundly rebuffed and beat, including right. the Japanese who regularly go over and smack yeah. them around. And yeah. once again, once again, we, we're the ones who trained them. Right. Us That's hilarious, Cargo. I'm using that one tomorrow at work. But all right. Are we ready for question number three? Yes, we are. Yes, sir. Right. Question number three. Russia is the largest country in the world. What country is second? Oh, you mean in this, land mass? Land mass, yeah, right? Land mass. What a great phrase. This, this is a very, this is a totally trick question that a lot of people will probably you won't know, even think about because it said a lot, people, a lot of people would think uh, one, but it's step, but uh, it's actually the other. I know what I know. I know two people in here should get it right. Confusing. I know two people but, in here yeah. better get this one right. All right, chat. You can put your answers in. <laughs> two people that better get it right. Yep. There are two people in chat that should get this one right. If they don't, there's something wrong with them. So judgy. Wow. <laughs> hey, Jonathan Strong beat all, all the Americans at our 4th of our, July. Our 4th um, of July celebration. He was oh, American yeah. trivia. He's practically American. That was, well, no, he, he is was American. getting done with Can Canada Day, though. He is American, but he, he's in Canada. He is. I mean, that's, I mean, Canadians are Americans. 
North Mexicans Americans. Mexicans are Americans. Yeah, they're North Americans. I understand right. that. I meant United States. So, ugh. All right. You know Brian. What I meant. Um, that would be the nation of Canada, eh? All right. Oh James. My goodness, more I wrote. A, I made. Tried to make a little maple leaf. Canada. Okay. They Kelly. have the best maple syrup. Let's be honest. What about Vermont maple, maple syrup? Uh, New Hampshire. That is tree flavored Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Yes. Uh, Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, home of Duke Kaboom. Duke like, Kaboom. I love. I, I have. Duke I have Kaboom. to say, my my favorite Canadian entertainers, Bob Our and Doug Cargo. <clears throat> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Duke Kaboom just won a judgment, by the way. Duke Kaboom did. Well, there was a lawsuit against Disney by the estate of Evil Knievel alleging that he had been stolen the intellectual rights to the property and identity of Evil Knievel, but Disney prevailed. Duke Kaboom was thought not to be well, no. Evil Knievel. Because Evil Knievel wasn't the only <laughs> that was around. I mean, well, I mean, I think they asked. The family put him in the movie. Ethel, and they said I want to no, see a picture of that. <laughs> I love him. I mean, that was that a, that awesome. was a great toy when I was a kid. Oh, well, my brother had that. I used to play with it all the time. Ethel, I definitely <laughs> want a picture of that. <laughs> are we ready for question number four? Yes. yes. We are. All right. What U.S. state is home to no documented poison snakes? Hmm. The land of my people. Now, I have to take issue with this uh, wording of this question because there are no such things as poisonous snakes. They're venomous. Okay. I know so, I correct people on that. I'll all the bet time. anything if you pick a snake up and lick it, you will get sick. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is, uh, chat, you can go ahead and answer it. Put your answers in. I, I'll bet you will get a form of salmonella if you lick a snake. <laughs> <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard the rattlesnake is good eating. Yeah, I, I've heard that too. But I mean, ugh. I don't Ew. understand. It's like it's everybody's like it tastes like chicken. Chicken well, is tastes the, like chicken. It's actually chicken is the greasy. cheapest meat in the world. Why would I want to go and get something that tastes like? People say that about frogs. Like they say it tastes like chicken. Yeah. You know? so, now I love me some frog legs. We actually, we actually used to have a restaurant here in town. It was called Three Gables, and Jim Davis used to come all the way over here to eat frog legs. You know who I'm talking Southern about? Southern Indiana, you, they have them in a lot of restaurants. Jim Davis, the cartoonist for Garfield. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like the way you're thinking there, Josh. Oh, I see a lot of answers in here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jonathan, come on. You should know better than that. All right. <laughs> Is, I thought it was a country. No, it said U.S. state. Oh, I thought you said country. No, I said U.S. state. No, I don't pay attention. All right. What, Brian? What's your answer? No documented venomous snakes, right? Yeah, no documented venomous, yes, poisonous, venomous, whatever you want to say. Snakes. <laughs> Brian, um, I'm going to say Hawaii. Hawaii. All right. James, the 49th state, Alaska. All right. Kelly, I'm saying Alaska because that's what James said, and like people in chat. There, the answer is Alaska. Snakes are no thinking, bueno. I was thinking Hawaii because Hawaii is an island 
and you're not going to have many venomous snakes on an island. No, and it only has very few. It's just like Ireland. Um, yeah. Doesn't have snakes. And the story always was St. Patrick's put them out. St. Patrick put them off the island. But... He did. It's true. Yeah, but those people, those people almost, they had a famine because they, they ran out of potatoes. No, the potatoes were blighted. Oh, okay. That's a big misconception. They were blighted. But you, so could, be, no you could go fishing, is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, not from the middle of the country. My folks were from Tipperary. They oh, came, really? during, the, came during the Gorta Moor. Most of them died. Um, and so, so that's James, how my, no that's how my, mother's, my mother's people came to this country during the Gorda Moor. All right. Are we ready for question number five? Yes, sir. All right. Question number five. What present day Italian city does Mount Vesuvius overlook? Ooh, I've been there. Whatever Jerry says. <laughs> that they've never found any, Jonathan. Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> that is just fun to say, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's like saying topiary. It's one of my favorite Disney words. Vesuvius is, but Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is really cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, chat, you can put your answers in. This is a city that I've actually been to. I have not, but I knew it was there. Um, I keep missing the Italian cities because I keep staying in Rome too long. I keep missing Rome because I go to the Vatican too long. So you cannot go to the Vatican too long. No, it it's amazing. I've seen pictures. I've never been there. When I was in Bosnia, I just came home. I didn't go. They said that our uh, military ID would get us into any country in Europe except for one. We still had to have a passport. The Which frogs. Was that the frogs wouldn't let us in. Oh, the French. Yeah. So we, liber we liberated the damn place, and we couldn't go in with military ID. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah. I heard. I heard Normandy. They love Americans when you go there. I heard they love Americans when you go there. They're flying the American flag and everything like that. They do, and you know where else? Up towards uh, the Argonne Forest, up towards the River Meuse, they love us up there too. Yeah. But the yeah. damn Parisians, they have. They're just attitude up. Right. Um, sort of like being in London. I've been, <laughs> when, when I lived in Germany, I got to do a 5K Volksmarch in a very, very famous forest. All right. I think we got all our, all our answers in. Brian. Uh, Napoli. All right. James. Naples. Yes. And Kelly. I have no idea, so I'm saying Naples. Via Napoli, it's a great restaurant. <laughs> um, yeah, I've actually, it, they said if Vesuvius goes off again, it will take out Naples. It took out, as, uh, as Josh observed, it took out Pompeii in the, yeah. I think, the second. Yeah, I, I, got, I got to visit the ruins of Pompeii, and they had, uh, there was this museum that they had these, um in case bodies yeah oh, in ash. and there's actually one that uh with his pet dog showing that Aww. there was pet that far back pet dogs yeah it's just amazing i mean it's just perfectly preserved i think what's funny is when i now I, you know i'm not talking about that but when it comes to like dogs is uh how we domesticated them from wolves and that it's come to the point that our dogs, they, how do I want to say this? They can show emotion through their eyes, but wolves can't. They have a, a certain muscle that wolves don't have mm -hmm. for us to breed them for so long that we, that, because we took like, you know, the planets, one of the planets killing machines and turned it into 
a love machine is what we yeah. end up doing. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Are we ready for six? Yes, yes sir. All right. Okay. Question number six. What is the name of the smallest country in the world? This is why I told you to be <laughs> quiet, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story about, um, <laughs> was it, uh, I believe, a couple, a few times, uh, Switzerland accidentally invaded right, Liechtenstein. You can go ahead and put your answers in. And <laughs> one of the times when they invaded, they, you know, the Liechtenstein uh, uh, army, they sent them back on their merry way. No, no problem. <laughs> we, we understand <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Come on, you should know this. <laughs> and th this is a country I've been to. I believe James has been there, too. Several times. Yeah. Amazing, amazing history there. Unfortunately, I was only there once. Cargo, yes. Yes, that's what I do, too. <laughs> All right. Brian? Uh, that would be Vatican City. All right. James? The magic of Catholicism, Vatican City. Kelly? Vatican City. All right. Vatican City. Yes. Uh, I would love to see the stealing of Sistine Chapel. Uh, and, beautiful. Uh, you know what, Absolutely. though? It, that's very impressive. But the wall behind it, the Last Judgment, oh, my goodness. I mean, just. <laughs> I'll be back. Taylor's bringing my rice. And I'm going to take the dogs out. Oh, I want some. Right. And uh, I think what lot, some people don't know about that is uh, basically um, that the devil's face is of the Pope at the time. Pope Julius II. Yes, yes it is. Yes, because they basically imprisoned Michelangelo to paint the Sistine Chapel. So the ceiling of it. So and that on her, that. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, the other thing was, was, uh, you know, he, he was, he wasn't a painter. <laughs> you know what I mean? hey, <laughs> really, sculpture. Michelangelo wasn't a painter. He was more of a sculptor, you know, it was like, but of course, back then, all those men that were into art could still do everything, you know, but yeah, that's what Michelangelo is more known for sculpting than a painting. All right. Uh, so this one I have, and it's kind of weird because it was, it's one of those because I don't know if it goes with geography, but we'll go ahead and do it. All right. Are we ready for number seven? Sure. All right. Yep. Number seven. What planet is closest to earth? I, I think that's geographical. Yeah. I mean, I think there's, I, you got to count them out though. And closest. Yes. What planet is closest to Earth? And no, this is not a trick question. Uh, I mean, there's actual a metric on this. Um, and it's, yeah, okay. You know, it's funny. Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was thinking of my NASA history, but although All right, Chad, you can put your answer in. It does depend on where in its orbit it is. 
Okay. There's one correct answer, Brian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but if this planet is on the other side of the sun from us, then oh, another believe. planet could be closer to, uh, to I, us. I had Margie answering, trying to answer this one, and she was going, you know, going the my you know, <laughs> and then she get to, I said, the last one's pizzas. Pluto's not a planet anymore. You can't do that anymore. I said, you can still use it. <laughs> yeah, Pluto's not a planet. He's a dog. Yeah, but it got, Pluto, first of all, is a great dog, but as a planet name, it got gypped. What's it, because what's it's a, gaseous doesn't mean it's not a planet. It's a planet made of gas. Yeah. I think the astrology people got it a little... I, I well, have to, they've, I have they've to just knocked, knocked it down to a sub planet is what they've done right. yeah so wow. all right i think we got everybody in so uh yep. brian venus james mercury mercury the answer is venus the mercury. twin twin of earth is venus James, Venus is like, or Mercury is like orbiting the sun real close. Venus is like a lot closer to us than Mercury. Yeah. And the only reason why we're not going to it and going to Mars is because uh, they said that the atmosphere on Venus is like hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> All right. Are we ready for question number eight? Yeah. All right. Question number eight. How many countries are there in the United Kingdom? Oh, this is the United Kingdom, not the Commonwealth, right? Yeah, I'm just talking about, you know, the basic countries that make up the United Kingdom. Oh, wow. I might have to I might have to call Cy. <laughs> That's a good one, Brian. I like <laughs> okay, how's the answer, Mercury, Josh? Because Venus is in between the Earth and Mercury. I think he's talking. I, I made it the same way, the calculation in nautical miles i think okay. it's closer okay. i mean it is what it is right right so okay i that's fine we'll we can take the answer that way basically if you just wanted to uh give uh you know how the number cargo you could do that too so it might be easier to do the number yeah <laughs> so if I didn't say it, chat, you can put your answers in. <laughs> I'm thinking out loud. Okay. All right. I, I mean, it was fine to put them, put them out, but I was just like, you know, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right. Brian. Okay. We got England. We got Scotland. We got Wales. We got Northern Ireland. Ireland. Four countries. Okay. James? Yeah, four. Although Northern Ireland for 800 years has been willing to leave. Yeah. So. All right. Yes, and it is four. Yep. I've been to all of two them. Two of them. I've been to I two of them. It. Yeah. I've only been to two. Because when you I landed, I, I landed in Ireland, not Northern Ireland. So, Although, Irish people refer to the um, area of what we call Northern Ireland as Ulster. But is the Isle of Man not considered a country? No. No. It okay. is not. 
that's an ancient division, Brian. Uh, we don't we call it Ulster for a reason. There's four major subdivisions: Ulster, Connaught, and, and others. Um, Ulster is predominantly the north, though. That existed before the British took over. The British. I am thoroughly enjoying this tonight. I think they. Uh... I think things would have been better if they just left the Vikings have it. So I don't know. (laughs) Bye, Dave. Thank you for coming. See you, Dave. See you, Dave, my friend. (laughs) All right. Let's see. I think that's it. I think I got everybody. All right. Are we ready for question number nine? Yes, sir. All right. Question number nine. What two countries border directly north of Hungary? Oh. North of Hungary. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Let's see the two the two countries north of Hungary I can think of would be starving and famished. But <laughs> All right, Chad, you can put your answers in. I'm glad I can make you laugh, Ethel. All right, Brian, what's your answer? Um, Austria and uh, Slovakia. All right. James? Um, this is going to be disputed. Um, I have also have Slovakia because it is directly north, but then I put Ukraine. But you can make a case for Austria as well as to what's right. north. All right. The answer that I got was, was uh, Slovakia and Ukraine. So, but, and yeah, uh, Jonathan, you've, you almost had that, right? Uh, I think you're thinking of the South of Yugoslavia. Slovakia is actually part of the Czech Czechoslovakia. Yeah. So they split now it's Czech Republic, Republic and Slovakia. So, all right. Great questions, Chris. Yeah, that one I really had to think about because that map has changed in the last 30 years. Oh, yeah. I actually learned how to ski in Austria. At Kitzbühel? Yes. It's actually a little... uh... I just learned that rabbits get really big in Germany. (laughs) Prague is a gorgeous place, Jonathan. It's one of the great cities of Europe. Um, it is precious. I like Prague a lot. All right. That's a, no. Uh, yeah, I think the only places I spent in Europe, of course, was I was in Wales. I was in uh, Britain. Uh, of course, I've been to Ireland, uh, Germany, uh, Bosnia, Croatia. Mm-hmm. That was because of a wrong turn. And uh, Serbia. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> I've yeah, been uh, to 
the the Croatians didn't like having soldiers in their in their country when we had made a wrong turn and <laughs> drove in there. Which is really funny because you got to cross a river to get into Croatia, and we still don't know how we did it. I've been to West Germany, France, um, Switzerland, Austria, uh, Italy, um, Luxembourg. I agree with uh, you there too, Jonathan. Budapest is a great city. As is Bucharest in Romania. Mm -hmm. Bu Budapest, or is that uh, Constantinople? Um, <laughs> or was that, or am I thinking of a different place? Is that, no, is that right? Was um, it it's Istanbul. 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 All right. All right. Yeah, there's, there's just nothing but turkeys over there. Ostrich. Yeah. Last so, question. Yeah. Last question. For all the marbles. Number 10. What country is known to have the best quality tap water? The best quality tap water. Yeah. Oof. Be one of those. Um... Yeah. You know, it, I was. I got it down to two. Um, National Geographic. Yeah. I'm going to go with. All right. Chat, go ahead and put in. Yeah, that's a tough one. Wow. Oh, Sea Cargo, you went. Yeah, I was. That's all. You're thinking bottled water. <laughs> I think we got everybody in. Brian. Um I'm gonna go with <coughs> I know I'm gonna blow this one. The good old US of A. Okay. James. It used to be Brian, but le recent I saw in the National Geographic. I was thinking Fiji too, by the way, Cargo. It's Iceland. Okay. The answer My is. My guess is Iceland. All right. And the answer is chocolate, cheese, and knives. What? It's Switzerland. It's Switzerland. Yeah. What? Yeah. Chocolate, Switzerland. Chocolate, Switzerland? Chocolate, cheese, and knives. Switzerland. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I thought they would just have neutral water. I thought they had bad bad. Really, Brian? <laughs> Neutral water. <laughs> Neutral water. <laughs> Do the math, Chris. Let's see where I mean, we're at. I mean, I understand. I understand where the, with Fiji, because like, you know, the thing is, but that's also water that says has never been touched by by hand until you've you've got it in the in the thing. The other thing is, is it's pure water and it's used by other people for certain yeah. things. Uh Norway was a good what Norway was a good one. I would almost thought Norway too. I don't know. I'm sorry, Chris. I had to pull that joke. <laughs> <laughs> now one, one thing about Switzerland and the Vatican, the Vatican security is run by uh, the Swiss Army. Oh wow. That's weird. And you know that to, to hold on to their neutrality, the Swiss have to have a real masterful army. Well, if I'm right, I was told that they almost ask most people to carry. Yeah. And they said that they have they're one of the countries with the lowest crime because most people are carrying a are carrying a mm -hmm. handgun or something. All right, let me get this added up. And Switzerland is also uh, where they make the best cuckoo clocks. I got my grandmother, we, we got my grandmother a cuckoo clock in Germany, we, we, you know, in Switzerland, we were going through. 
and that cuckoo clock was bought in the 70s and it is still working beautifully today oh really I like guess craftsmanship there, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, while I was over there, I know there was people taking cuckoo clocks home with them. They were buying them over there while we were in Germany, or why you could buy them actually at the PX in Bosnia too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. Uh... That ain't right. Yeah, Chris, thank you for having me on. I really appreciated this. Yeah, this no a problem. lot of fun. Yeah. Is that, that can't be right. That's all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey, Debbie. That's what I was gonna hey, say. Debbie Bernfeld, how are you? She just kind of snuck in under the radar there. All right. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Debbie. Great to see all of you. This is a fun show on Tuesday nights. No, oh, it is. I have a feeling that James is going to be taking this one home. It was a good match tonight, Brian. Yeah, it was fun too. Yeah, and we get to talk. Yeah, we get to my brain cells. Yeah, it's good to, and it's it is, and it's good to know about other cultures and lands. I was really, um, it was really fun doing the seven natural wonders of the world. I haven't done those in a long time. Oh yeah, oh, well, I think and, and I forgot that they like change them every once in a while mm -hmm. the man-made ones they change more frequently but um so james were you surprised i knew as many as i did no no i, I you're a you're a bright guy brian so i was not surprised <laughs> in your wall travel and, yes uh, I, I am a smart feller not a fart smeller well <laughs> can you say that on you can you say that on youtube without fetching a strike i don't know um <laughs> But I'm in it for the mullet, you know, because uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I'm in it for the mullet, man. I'm going to emboss that, shellac it, and put it on with magnets on my refrigerator. So, yeah. That's my pal Chris with a mullet. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice of you, Debbie, to watch the replay. We actually... Uh, I, I've, come, I've come into this series a little bit late, and I've missed quite a few of them. But I think if I would probably would have hit all of them, I probably would have been giving you a run for your money. Oh, I missed a couple. So you, you may be still in there. I mean, the overall totals. Um, there was one I was traveling, one I was uh, in the West Coast, and we were busy. Um, well, the, we had uh, the Star Wars one. You guys weren't here for that one. Brian that was. <coughs> that was fun. I almost won that one. You know, when we have the movie ones and Nick comes in, he just trounces us all. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is one I'd like to have on my channel uh, one of these Fridays is Nick. Oh, you should invite him. He's very generous with his time. Yeah. Nice guy, too. But I, but I would invite him on to talk about it. What are you doing this Friday night, Brian? 
Oh, I'm actually going to be doing a little uh, walking tour of downtown Disney. Oh, that's right. You did say that. That's nice. Yeah, I, f- I figured that would be you know kind of appropriate. You know, just I couldn't I couldn't find a good guest this week. I asked one, but uh, she hasn't gotten back to me yet. So, well, it's tough because that's the that's the entryway into the weekend. So, oh yeah. And because there's so many people from the East Coast that may not have been um, to Disneyland, might as well at least show them some of the free stuff that they can do. Yeah, I think that's a nice idea. And if you sort of dip behind the taco place during firework time, I think Mm -hmm. that's the best free spot to watch them. Oh, yeah. By the taqueria. Yeah, that, that taqueria has some really good food there. They do, but they also have that little, you know, that little outer courtyard where you can walk right down and see the fireworks very, very mm-hmm. well. But what, one of my go-to spots for food over at downtown Disney, really good gumbo, is the Ralph Brandon's Jazz Kitchen Express. Yep. That's where you go for gumbo and beignets. Let's see. Great. And of, and of course, if you have a group of people with a sweet tooth, stop by Black Tap and split. Don't do one on your own, but split one of those crazy shakes. Uh, I don't know. Because I, I think they have like about a million calories or something. Really always makes fun of me because I, I hate splitting desserts. Um, she's the only woman in my history that I've ever done it with. <laughs> I was like, I'll, I'll buy another dessert that you don't have to finish it. I just, but but yeah, that that uh, crazy shake. You I mean, you kind of have to split it because it's too much for one person. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've managed. I've, I've managed Kelly. The kitchen sink. Kelly about took off Matthew's hand on that ooey gooey cake. <laughs> <laughs> So that'll be a fun night. Upcoming on the Mickey Bunch. Yeah. Uh, we've got our regular uh, Sunday night Fall de Rollin Festival of Fun. Um, I think this week um, it's going to be a newlywed game, but I'm not sure. But I tell you, that we have more fun 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Western um, after hours with the Mickey Bunch. Oh, on yeah. Sunday nights. And I think uh, that's Kelly's flagship show. And it's a lot of fun with a very, very, um, very, very uh, good chat and good guests. And I believe she's also going to do a, uh, she's going to drop a few vlogs this week, including um, some mail she's received with various products. So, Hey, Debbie, I didn't see you come in. Very, very busy. All right. So I, I think I have it. Like I said, uh, I will go over this again. So. But so far, what I have right now, I have Kelly at 43. I have James at 56. I have Brian at 50. I have Josh at 49. I have Jonathan Chong at 43. I have Cargo at 33. I have Kevin at 53. I have Sandy at 6. I have Catherine at 6. And then I have Jonathan Jonathan Mays. Was that the right one? Yeah. I think I have only that. have him for 7. Yeah, he ducked out early, too. Yeah. So, uh, James is our banana winner again. So, Yay! Fourth yeah, banana. I'd, I'd like to thank the Academy. And <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we won't be banana sitting, banana this banana, this, this banana has been sitting on my desk from the beginning. Uh, so... But we did get a whole another shipment of bananas in. And I think Margie was going to send one out today. It might have been your last one. If I'm right. <laughs> so, so, you know so where to send it. Really you know where to send it. And you know who will claim it as her own. So. Yes, yes. I yes. love her. Yep. I, it's it's, it's going to be funny when that whole entire desk is covered in bananas. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> in, in, anyway. in all honesty. You know, honestly, both both you and Kelly are very bright people, uh, James. I'm glad to call you guys friends. Oh yeah, that's very nice of you to say. 
Um, I'm, Jonathan, I'm, thank you. <laughs> I'm just rotten potatoes over here. <laughs> you know, Chris, Chris, without, without you, That's right. banana would be rotting on the tree. <laughs> yeah. thank, you, thank you. Good game all. Yes. Thank hey, you all. Will, hey, what are we doing next week, Chris? Uh, you know what? I have not even come up with it. Uh, I will tell you something that my daughter told me tonight. It's not a secret, but most people don't know about this. Um, she said last night they did something at uh, Magic Kingdom, and they said it was a surprise. The cast members didn't even know about it. They've added something new at, to the beginning of Enchantment, where it's Walt and Roy talking about creating, I guess, the parks. And uh, they also have a little bit of Mickey Mouse talking now. I think from the way she made it sound, it was a projection on the castle. And it's oh, that something that nice. happens begin. And they said, she said they just just put it out there. Didn't tell nobody. Said it was a surprise to even the cast members. Oh, no so, kidding. Good but, deal. Wow. But yeah. Uh, so uh, one of the things I had, Margie and I reacted to more TikToks. And once again... What happened in the first TikTok? It happened again in the second TikTok. TikToks. Uh, let's see. I've got... So the, every other week, I do a live stream on Thursday at 9.30 called Hollow Net News, which is me talking all about Star Wars, everything that's going on with Star Wars. Of course, uh, on Friday, Margie and I will be doing Disney updates where we talk Disney news at 7.30. And then uh, if you're following uh, what I'm doing for a reaction video for the people in... Uh, uh, over in the Netherlands will be the third part of the Maduro Dom videos, which is amazing because they're just little miniatures of just different places all the way around the Netherlands. And I, the Netherlands is awesome and I love it, it is. but I, I would love to get over there because they've got this wonderful park over there called Efteling. Uh, it, they, they say that Walt Disney visit there before he created Disneyland, but there's nothing documented, but uh, by looking at it, I don't see why I would have to guess he probably did at some time. So, but I think that's going to do it. I think, I think everybody did well. Like I said, uh, as of right now, James is one, I'm pretty sure he he's won, but because we are keeping track of score all the way through the season, which is 24 uh 24 of these and i'm not even sure which one we're on i know we're not to 24 yet but uh at the end we're giving away a prize obviously uh the prize for everybody else <laughs> is an original piece of art <laughs> done by me james is just I like a I signed picture of my senior <laughs> my senior <laughs> year so <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, that that's going to do it. Uh, thank you guys. Once again, without you guys, it would just be me sitting here asking Brian and Kelly questions. So <laughs> thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, we'll you see know, you next week. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you next week. I haven't decided. Uh, I'll, ha I'll, ha I'll have to let you all know. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I haven't even thought about it. Tell you the truth. It was it's just not has hasn't been on. I've had some busy weeks at the post office because we are really underhanded but yeah but uh i think that, that yep that's gonna do it so thank you all for coming in we appreciate you coming playing trivia with us and we'll see you next week bye hi everybody